Metabolism of other drugs, both dexprozone and oprozone, are metabolized by the liver enzyme CYP C19. Okay, this is an enzyme that is located in the liver. Therefore, they have the potassium to interact with other medication. They are also metabolized by this enzyme. These interactions can lead to a change in these interactions can lead to a change in the level of blood levels of the affected drugs and potentially reducing the efficiency or increase the level of side effects. Some examples. Flapridinol, desprazole, and oprazole can increase the accumulation of flapridinol and antiplatelet agent commonly used to prevent blood growth. These interactions can reduce the effectiveness of flapridinol, and therefore, these PPI use PPIs means protein pump inhibitors should be used continuously or provided in, in individuals taking flapridinol. Other PPIs such as flapridinol or results may be different and genetic in such cases. Next is diazepam. Both dexprazole and oprazole can increase the level of blood. First, the drugs used for incentive and maximization. This inhibition can protect the receptive effect of the diazep and a dose is used for maximum diseases. Warfarin. Warfarin is any other which is used in it. Dexprazole and oprazole can increase the blood level of warfarin and other blood medication is to prevent blood flow. Information. This increase can increase the blood of blood moving and close the moving of the intelligent normal size flow show. This is essentially when indicating or dissuading PPI therapy. Interaction with the antiplate agents. As mentioned earlier, there is a interaction between PPI, including dysprosol and prosol and peptidol and antigen can be used to prevent blood infection. Cream pump inhibitors can inhibit the activation of flapidol by interfering with convenient which active form. This situation may reduce the antiplatelet nature of flapidol, potentially increases the risk of cardiovascular events in individuals taking both medications. And the next and the last topic is the test research. New formulations and discovery systems researches have been uh, exploring on the new known formations and discovery. System to enhance the effectiveness and convenience of the expressor and repressor. For example, efforts have been made to develop delayed release formations that ensure that drug is released at the desired side which is to track and prevent separate. That's the safety and efficiency studies. Clinical trials have been conducted to evaluate the safety and efficiency of the expressor and repressor in various patients. Populations for different injections, these studies aim to determine the quantum line dosing regions. Treatment and potentially reduce effect of system medication. Next is complementary studies. Complementary studies have been conducted to assess the similarities and differences between drugs with gold and oprazol. This study may complete parameters such as safety, parameter performance, and patient preferences to provide insight into the relative advances and disadvantages of these products. Next is adverse effect and risk reduction. Researchers have focused on identifying and minimizing the adverse effect on with the exposure and also investigation have been conducted to better understand the potential associated situation with the medication and the patient and the pressure for developing continuing patients if the also may be made to the risk to risk the effect of adverse The reference book I gave uh, in the presentation topic is the book. The form of cultural basic properties and the general articles are as follows. This is all cited my presentation, um, which I submitted to um, respected my sir, Dr. Ramadmiji. Um,